Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Enjoy English School. I'm Bruce. I'm Anthony. Today is day two. I forgot to mention that yesterday that we have a two day lesson on crosswalks.、Uh, these are painted or placed on roads to help pedestrians, people like you and me, who do not have a car or are not using a car, to cross a road safely.、Uh, I also mentioned. Tens of thousands of people around the world die from traffic accidents、uh, or trying to get across a busy street、mm. uh, every year. So it's really an important、uh, topic and one we should pay attention to and, and maybe just be interested in its history. And that's what we started with yesterday and will continue with today. 嗯，没错，我们今天要继续介绍昨天介绍过的斑马线。那我们昨天简单的介绍说，啊，斑马线的话，其实上在历史上已经存在两千年之久。最早的话是在庞贝城，对吧？第一个斑马线出现了。到后来一八九九年的时候，在美国出现了第一起意外事故，撞死了行人。然后后来后来呢，呢美国呢，在一九三零年代跟英国两两个国家就开始想说，哎，我们要怎么样用一些方式来。来确保人流的安全，好，就试着想出了斑马线。于是呢，我们就看到了现在的这种斑马线 （black and white）。但是我们今天要介绍的主题呢，就是在各国都有各自的那种、那种各国特色的这种斑马线，不只是这种那种黑白相间的这种形态而已。我们赶快来看看有多少的斑马线吧。Not so black and white. A history of crosswalks. Today, crosswalk design has really taken off. There are now 3D crosswalks that appear to float above the road. Some crosswalks have flashing lights, making them easier for drivers to see. Others automatically light up when they detect someone crossing the road. Crosswalk designers around the world have come up with many creative ways to catch people's attention. In Poland, some crosswalks are designed to look like piano keys to honor the famous pianist Frederic Chopin. In LGBTQ-friendly countries, designers have painted rainbows on their crosswalks to represent the community. In Brazil, a shopping center painted a nearby crosswalk with thin and wide stripes to make it look like a barcode. Some countries have other crossings rather than the traditional zebra crossings. Hong Kong's tiger crossings are yellow and black. Australia has wombat crossings, which are placed on a raised section of the road and are specially designed to increase the safety of pedestrians. A region known for dairy farming in Spain introduced cow crosswalks. Which feature the cow's white spots instead of zebra stripes. These are just a few examples of the many creative crosswalk designs. The next time you travel abroad, take note of the local crosswalks, and you might just discover some pleasant surprises. Okay, let's get started. Today. Crosswalk design has really taken off. Take off your clothes,、mm. not that take off.、Mm. When something becomes popular and more and more people want it, and they do it, or they buy it, or, or they learn it, and so on, then we say that a product or a、uh, kind of behavior or a type of art,、uh, more and more people suddenly become interested in it. We say, yeah, this dance step. Has really taken off. Everybody is doing it now. 嗯，没错。所以 take off 的话，这边讲的不是把衣服脱掉的 take off， 比较像是飞机起飞的 take off。好，那如果说今天你的事业开始起飞了，或是某一个趋势开始越来越多人做了，我们都可以使用 take off 这个片语。所以看这个地方第一段的第一句话呢，他就告诉你说 ，Today crosswalk design has really taken off. 好，现在斑马线的这种设计啊，好，开始非常非常多啊，非常非常多元，开始整个起飞了，这样的感觉。There are now 3D crosswalks that appear to float above the road. I, I haven't seen that. I can't wait to see、嗯、my first 3D 
uh, crosswalk. 3D is, uh, the D is for dimension. So we have height, width, and uh, the other depth. one. Depth. <laughs> mm. uh, those three together will give us real life uh, area and uh, products and understanding. Uh, and one way to do that, to help the public and uh, the automobiles, that kind of traffic, uh, they don't want to hit a person and kill them, and people don't want to be hit and get killed. So they're trying, they're experimenting with many different ways to even improve the uh, black and white simple crosswalks. A 3D crosswalk, I don't know how uh, they do that. I want to see it. Yeah, 没错没错，我后来去查了，在冰岛，哈，他们在冰岛有做，哎，它的那个设计很特别，它看起来如果在那个驾驶人的眼中，它看起来很像是你快要撞上那个凸起来的东西，有点像是我们之前提到庞贝城，它不是有那个大石头变成斑马线吗？然后最后它车子就得要停下来，马车、牛车停下来。一样的感觉，它这是在那个那个冰岛那个地方，它就设计成有白色、有黑色、有灰色的，它看起来那个这样开过去的时候就觉得哇，好立体，一定会吓到，一定会停下来，因为会怕。好，所以这里的话 ，there are now 3D crosswalks that appear to float above the road. Float 就是漂浮的意思。那在这边的话，这个 3D 老师这个提刚刚有提到 ，D 是 dimension， 或者是你可以念成 dimension。它的拼法是 D I M E N S I O N, dimension or dimension. Some crosswalks have flashing lights, making them easier for drivers to see. Here is another experiment that、uh, some countries are using.、Uh, in the United States,、uh, maybe New York uses it, but Florida doesn't. But Illinois does. They set up their own systems,、mm. and the advantage of that is. Uh, sooner or later, they they will find the best one,、mm -hmm. and、uh, more and more people will use that. So, if you're traveling from one state to another, if everyone had the same kind of、uh, crosswalk, you would know what that means,、uh, and and slow down or stop before trying to cross it. 嗯，没错，所以这句话也告诉你说 ，some crosswalks have flashing lights， 指的就是它有一些闪烁的灯光。Making them easier for drivers to see. 这样的话，驾驶人就更容易看到。老师刚刚提到说，当开始他们在这个实验的时候，也许在某个州啊，像伊利诺啊，或者像其他地方，他们有不同的这种 system， 就可以去很快的去尝试哪些方式比较有效。嗯、mm. ，Others automatically light up when they detect someone crossing the road. That reminds me of something. When you approach it, it will turn on. Ah,、uh, 没错，类似像现在很多啊，很多灯有没有？平常是暗的， oh. 人经过的时候，它就就会启动，它自动就被 activated， 好，自动就启动了。Mm -hmm. 那甚至像是像很多我们在捷运上的一些那个电扶梯 escalators， 它在没有人经过的时候，它就是那种就稍微是在就就休息的状态。你一经过的时候，它就嗯开始启动，都是用这种方式。所以这边他提到说 ，others。Automatically light up. Automatically 就是自动的会亮起来 When they detect someone crossing the road, 好，他们如果有侦测到 detect 这个字是侦测，如果是人侦测的话，就是察觉的意思。好，侦测察觉到说，哎，有人要过马路了，他们自动就会亮起来，去提醒这些用路人或是驾驶人要注意行人的安全。嗯 ，Okay, so there's an important paragraph. To、uh, give some examples of different kinds of crosswalks. Crosswalk designers around the world have come up with many creative ways to catch people's attention. We really started to talk about at the end of our last paragraph, but it's interesting that、uh, we can call people who. Uh, design crosswalks as being designers.、Mm. <laughs> uh, that usually means、uh, the person is excellent in engineering or in、uh, fashion or design and so on. 没错 ，designers 都会想到像是那种 fashion designers， 这种时时装设计师啊等等 designers。但是在这边的话，在设计斑马线的人，他们其实也是设计师啊。哈，很多时候你听到平面设计等等各式各样，我说这算是一种平面设计啊、哦。
crosswalk designers around the world. 世界上各地的这种斑马线的这种设计师设计者呢 ，have come up with many creative ways to catch people's attention. 你也可以说 catch people's eye， 或者加 s，、mm-hmm. 就是吸引大家的目光。所以，世界各地斑马线的这些设计师呢，都想出很多很有创意的方式来吸引大家的注意。In Poland, that's a country in Eastern Europe. In Poland, some crosswalks are designed to look like piano keys to honor the famous pianist Frederick Chopin. 嗯，所以这边的话，这句话还告诉你说，在波兰呢。有一些这种设计的这种啊斑马线被设计成怎样？看起来很像是钢琴的琴键。To look like piano keys to honor. 这边的 honor 指的意思就是去纪念，让大家知道谁呢 ？The famous pianist Frederick Chopin. Chopin. 它这个字的话有很多的念法，像是在法文里面它念 Chopin， 但是在英文里面，因为它要假装像是法文的那声音，它会念 Chopin。好，很多种不同的念法。<笑>那肖邦这个钢琴家本身呢，爸爸是法国人，然后妈妈的话是波兰人。他自己觉得自己是比较偏波兰的那种感觉，所以他的名字的话可能拼法有点不太一样。这边的话，我们给的是他波兰名字的拼法。有的时候你会看到 Frederick Chopin。好，他的话他会用不同的方式去拼他。In LGBTQ friendly countries. Designers have painted rainbows on their crosswalks to represent the community. LGB. I don't know what all of those are.、Uh, lesbian, lesbian, gay, gay bi- bisexual, bisexual, transgender,、oh. and Q. I, I don't. I don't know about Q. Q. Queer. Queer. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. Yeah. L- Uh, the, these are people with,、uh, shall we say, non-standard、uh, sexual orientation, a- orientation or attraction、uh, in Europe and and the Americas now.、Mm. Uh, everyone has a, a gay day parade or something like that. So it, they're more and more visible throughout、uh, different parts of the society.、Mm. So in LGBTQ friendly, notice the little blanchen there is to connect. The LGBTQ with friendly,、uh, so that these countries are friendly towards people who are different from them.、Hmm. Designers,、uh, we don't know if they're queer or not, and it doesn't matter. Designers have painted rainbows now. Rainbow because we see so many different、uh, colors, but they're together.、Hmm. They're all part of. One thing, yeah.、Uh, the designers have painted rainbows on their cr- crosswalks to represent the the community. Is this LGBTQ、uh, community that group of people? Yeah. So in 这边的话，像台湾就是一个性别多元友善的这种国家。In LGBTQ friendly countries， 在这种性别友善啊，多元性别友善的这种国家里面呢。Designers have painted rainbows. 没错，在这样的这种社群里面，很多时候都拿彩虹，因为大家每个人都不一样，但是大家都是一体的这样的感觉。On the crosswalks, 好，在这个人行道上面，好，不是应该是那个斑马线上面。To represent the community, 用这种方式来去代表他们这个群体这样的族群。In Brazil, the largest country in South America, a shopping center. Painted a nearby crosswalk with thin and wide stripes to make it look like a barcode. A barcode is, ah,、uh, barcode 就是条码的意思啊，<笑>就是你平常去去那个便利商店，他说，哎，这个多少钱？八<笑>，这个 barcode 就是去刷这个条码。Okay, thank you. <笑> I learned a new word today. All right, that's it for this paragraph. We have more, so hang on and enjoy. Till the next time, till the next paragraph. Take a break. Some countries have other crossings rather than the traditional zebra crossings. Well, we just just talked about all kinds of different uh, uh, crossings uh, in different countries around the world for different reasons.、Um, 
And、uh, now we're going to give you some more examples. Yeah. So in 这边的话，第一句话告诉你说 ，some countries have other crossings rather than the traditional zebra crossings. 所以，如果说今天平常的话，你会看到这种斑马线，但是在某些国家，他们一些独特的一些特色，他用不同的方式来标注斑马线哦。Hong Kong's tiger crossings are yellow and black. Uh, tigers are. I guess more common than zebras in Hong Kong, or more popular, or maybe the people who designed this felt that、uh, yellow and it's black, right? Black, yeah.、Uh, yellow and black may even be more of a、um, more striking, striking、uh, an effect on people's eyes, especially the drivers.、Mm. Uh, they may see yellow and black. Well, an- another reason is the B. B-E-E. Ah, they can be yellow and black, and then you will really pay attention. <laughs> yeah, 很有可能是这样哦。所以在这边的话，我们举的第一个例子是香港。Hong Kong's tiger crossings are yellow and black. 啊，是用黄黑相间的方式去呈现这个斑马线的。所以当我们看到这个黄黑的话，基本上第一个想到哦，可能是老虎，或者是想到蜜蜂。一看到就会觉得哦，这个颜色很很很容易让人警醒。所以他们使用这样子这种老虎斑虎斑的这种方式去来呈现这个斑马线。Australia has wombat crossings, which are placed on a raised section of the road and are specially designed to increase the safety of pedestrians. You, you may have noticed this.、Uh, sometimes you cannot cross a road; it's just way too much traffic. So they build. Like a ladder and then a platform and a ladder going down,、uh, it's a safer way to cross the street than running on the road itself.、Uh, Australia has wombat crossings. I'm not even going to try to explain what a wombat is, but Australia is the only country in the world with this kind of animal. It's a little bit similar to the koala,、mm. which everybody knows, but only in size. Uh, check it out.、Uh, use your、uh, toy. What do you、uh, call it?、Uh, <laughs> Google. <laughs> Try to Google、oh, yeah. it. <laughs>、uh, cell phone or whatever.、Uh, they're really cute, and、mm. uh, unfortunately, there aren't that many of them anymore. But it's if you hear wombat, you should think Australia. 嗯，没错，尤其是在澳洲的袋熊。我记得之前的时候，我有做过一集，好像提到是袋熊的。Oh. 我印象最深刻就是他们大出来的便都是方形的，很像骰子一样。如果你缺骰子的话，你就去找袋熊要，他会给你很多。他这边提到的是 Australia， 好，澳洲呢 has one bat crossing， 他们有袋熊的这种行人穿越道。那他告诉你说，哦，到底它的形状、它的形态是怎样呢？ Which are placed on a raised section of the road？ 好，它本身的话是路上的隆起的这个区域呢。它看起来就是变得是变凸起来的，这样大家比较容易可以去看到，甚至怎么样 ？And are specially designed to increase the safety of pedestrians， 是特别设计来提高行人的安全。那样变的话，就是我们很容易感觉到啊，地面的凸起的这个地方，顺着去走，说不定对这个盲人来讲也是比较容易可以去掌握的。A region known for dairy farming. Dairy is the raising of especially cows. Or other kinds of cattle、uh, for their milk, which is then made into lots and lots of different products. A region known for dairy farming in Spain introduced cow crosswalks, which feature the cow's white spots instead of zebra stripes. I'm, I'm amazed by the variety、mm. of ideas that people have. Different countries, different ideas. Maybe even in one country. Like in the U.S., one state will have their own、uh, zebra crossing style, and Texas will have another, and so on.、Mm. It's a chance for people to be creative, not just for fun. That's a good reason alone, but for safety, which、mm. is more important. Hmm, 没错，这个让我想到很多时候就是像是啊， um, 在日本，他们很多那种人孔盖 manhole covers， 他们有各地。各个不同的地方有不同的这种人孔盖，像在这个地方的话，提到说 ，a region known for dairy farming， 好，落农业。Dairy 老师刚刚提到说，就是用这种乳制品，好，比方说你有提到 dairy products， 大家会想到 milk cheese、哦、ice cream ice cream， yeah， exactly， 老师想到就会是啊、哦、甜食啊、哦、甜点，对不对？好。
，它里面提到这边指的是这个西班牙的一个地方，他们是乳牛养殖很有名的 ，introduce cow crosswalks。你看，他们乳牛养殖很有名的，他们就引进了这种乳牛的这种斑马线。然后上面的话不是用斑马的形状，而是用乳牛的身上的斑点的颜色来介绍当地的地方特色，所以会让我想到日本很多地方都有各自属于自己特色的这种人孔盖那种感觉，很像。好，这边有提到一个字 ，which feature 这个地方 feature 是动词，是指以什么作为特色或为主打 ，feature the cow's white spots instead of zebra stripes， 他们不用这些呃斑马的身上的条纹。而使用乳牛身上一个一个黑白黑白相间的这种斑点来作为他们这个图案的这种标志。Okay, that's it.、Uh, all these wonderful examples, and yet we're not finished. So hang on, we have just a bit more、uh, before we can finish today's lesson. Hang on. Okay, as I said, we're ready to、uh, finish or complete our lesson today, and this is very short. These are just a few examples of the many creative crosswalk designs. If you, we just talked about Brazil and Spain and Australia,、uh, not only UK and US, the original black and white stripes. So there are many creative designs. Creative is you think of something new, or you think of a new way to use or appreciate something that's already there. 嗯，没错，所以这边告诉你说 ，there are just a few examples. These are just a few examples. 刚刚所前面提到的香港啦，或者是西班牙啦，好，这些的话都只是少少的例子而已。A few examples of the many creative crosswalk designs. 好，所以事实上还有很多很多其他等待你去发现的东西。The next time you travel abroad, take note of the local crosswalks. And you might just discover some pleasant surprises. And I thought,、uh, after I read this sentence, yeah, if I traveled in Spain, and、mm. so that's the one that impressed me the most. I would never would have thought of that, and yet it's very, very close to the original.、Mm. So if you're being creative, you can use old material in a new way. Um,、mm, old material in a new way, 就是用原本的这种概念，然后增加一点新的趣味，这就是 creative. 所以这边他这句话说 ，The next time you travel abroad, 下次出国玩的时候呢 ，take note of the local crosswalks. 不妨注意一下当地的斑马线长什么样子。And you might just discover some pleasant surprises. 说不定你会有意外的发现，意外的惊喜哦。Okay,、uh, we'll finish today's program by reminding you, pedestrians, those of us who don't have vehicles,、uh, we have a responsibility too. Don't cross the street when the light is red.、Mm. You'd be surprised how many people are injured by doing that every year. Pay attention to traffic laws, driver or pedestrian, please. 拜托，一定要注意安全。好，不要没事的时候闯红灯啦。啊，也不要说看到红灯不管了，我是行人，我最大，不可以。我们自己行人也是有责任要保护自己的。Otherwise, who will listen to us? Hmm. Yeah, really, just that. Okay. Until the next lesson, we're together. Until then, bye bye. bye, -bye.